Cindy Edison Blending Conscious Channel of Joseph, a group of teachers. Joseph is the enlarged or speaks from the vibration of the new earth, and they are the expanded awareness of Seth and Abraham, communicating their message as we advance into higher vibrations. We don't foretell awful things, but many do. However, as we progress and raise our collective vibration to include our soul, more light comes in. Universe is constantly balanced. Light shines in, revealing and spreading the darkness. We call it contrast, some call it gloom. Yes, darkness will materialize because people are focusing on it. We're not predicting when you sow. We're advising everyone to focus on love and avoid contrast. Avoid spreading the dread there. Focus on your love, knowing that this is an opportunity and part of the consciousness shift we are experiencing. A shift in universal consciousness and the physical realm. It impacts everything. Intense energy are present. And it choose between extreme energies. Decide your path. People are encouraged to do this. Fear will expand on Eclipse Day. But remember that humans create these appearances. It escalates terror. Everybody must focus on self-alignment. Surround yourself with things and people that make you happy. For those with children, recall the first infant you held and the love you felt. Attention to such matters. Keep focused on what makes you happy. And that vibration propels you. You actively participate in your eternal progress. Overall, it's up to you. Great chance to expand your consciousness. We don't forecast. You're not told your purpose. See for yourself. If we find, and obviously, we cannot anticipate or tell you what will happen because you control your own inventions. You're exploring. If we say, you must do this or you must do that, we limit your free will. You have it. It doesn't take it away. But you're saying, Oh, they said this, so I'll focus on it. I'll find out moving forward. For human progress, individually and globally, you must focus on self-love. Devotion to oneself aligns. When you love yourself soulfully, you align. According to Abraham, one in alignment is more powerful than a million who are not. You create from love and excitement when in alignment. You emanate that vibration while in alignment, and everyone benefits. We say you have no idea. Your destination is unknown. To live fearlessly is beyond you. In 3D, you're addicted to dread. We offer seven healing and self-discovery steps. It's the non-physical part of new beliefs. As mentioned, good individuals experience bad things because of their physical vibration. A new aspect was established when you, the collective soul, opted to expand your soul's loving vibrational component. New aspect is us. We entered this third dimension eons ago, thousands of lifetimes ago, without understanding who we are, which is the point of a new aspect. Our identity is unknown. In this scenario, difference offers choice and a new journey. Discovering new things widens the soul and universe. It moves onward in infinite ways, soul characteristics. First, we dive. As we focus in every instant, we create 99% of our reality from the contrast, since we don't know who we are, 1% from our soul. We start our new understanding path. This is opposite our true selves. So we leave, return, die, be slain, hung, and have our heads cut off. We're discovering who we are as we move through the third dimension through all of these experiences and endless vibrational timelines. Starting at 99% and establishing contrast moves us through these time frames, enlarging the soul. We grow our souls every time we leave right. Returning 90% contrast, 1% love. The next time may be 98% contrast, 2% affection. Next, 90% contrast, 10% love, 85% contrast, 15% love. We climb the ranks to 50 50 you must remember that your bodily frequency keeps us in the third dimension. It's dormant when you go. After death, your bodily vibration rests on the timeline you left. To return and continue expanding the aspect, the soul refocuses on that frequency, and we stand up and declare, Okay, I'm ready to move forward. The soul leads us ahead. That vibration matches the contrast and cannot go with us when we die. So we resume. It's 50 50 it's all of our experiences, beliefs, understandings, and teachings from every existence in the third dimension are still within us because we've progressed to the point where we understand where we left off.
Our bodily vibration contains them. When good people experience unpleasant things, the law of vibration, vibrational agreement, and attraction is in full force at all times, thus it is merely an indication of an out-of-alignment frequency. Each of us does. Without it, we wouldn't exist. To get there and create momentum on a road that propels us ahead, we must choose another belief, a new understanding that aligns with our goals. Thus, terrible things are vibrational agreements like everything else. Like everything else, they manifest. When people ask, how does someone who is so loving, so good, get diagnosed with cancer? But how does a baby get born with cancer? So because that out of alignment vibration is part of that bodily existence. When we realize who we are, we realize that alignment eliminates illness. Nothing can be out of alignment in alignment. By dominating that frequency, you heal. Your body communicates and manifests your vibration to heal itself. Because of your powerful vibration, you will never cure yourself if you don't believe you can. Your awareness of who you are grows continuously. Thus, we can discuss possibilities. Because we talk to you from your extended physical self, all things are conceivable. So anything is possible if you focus. Any feeling that is not under the boundless umbrella of love is manifested and shown to us by our loving ego, which balances the soul in the contrast. Every second, your emotions reveal what you create. When you pay attention to your emotions, remember that you are producing them and the physical experience of the frequency you are focusing on, so you are either in or out of alignment. Look around the planet now. Because contrast dominates creativity, we have chaos and sayings like life is hard and struggle and effort are necessary to achieve across millennia. These are out of alignment comments based on human created experiences. You change your perspective and use the law of attraction to produce what you want instead of the dominating collective frequency. Keep your vibe because you're always creating your own reality, regardless of what's happening outside. Therefore, you have full control. No one can change your vibration unless you let them. Fully in charge. As consciousness shifts, vibrational expression occurs. We're moving into a frequency without contrast. Therefore, our beliefs are out of alignment produced from the contrast yet imperfect alignment with the domain we're in. These views are popular. This dimension has existed for millennia. We come and go, leaving and returning as our soul evolves. They move swiftly every time you perish. Naturally, death in the enlarged realm does not occur when you die. Just energy conversion. When you depart this world, you just take your love. Because opposition and love cannot resonate, you only bring what aligns with your essence. Thus, an out-of-alignment belief or choice cannot create an in-alignment experience. No agreement, you're right. When you focus out of alignment, you create an experience of the vibratory realm that's out of alignment, which is most of it right now. When you focus on a different frequency, you experience its opportunities. As we move away from the contrast of the third dimension, we move into the wider realms and draw vibrations from those realms, which means we create from a different perspective. Your soul skills are increased or revealed. As your consciousness includes that vibration, you can experience it. Thus, it occurs. Mine happened that way. For some, each person is unique.